Does he have their own TV channel? Do we have to look into the camera? Let's get interesting. How are you looking into the camera? <laughs> Diplo. Got the venue, yeah. Banshee. Soul Wax. So wack. 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 So We don't have any inside scoop. We have nothing. We wouldn't know anything about uh, anything about hijinks. hijinks. We keep a low profile. I'm not familiar with that term. Does yeah. Diplo watch this? Because <laughs> fuck you. The only real feud, you know what it is. But I'm going to squash that beef soon. Why did Dizzy Rascal and Diplo have beef? Shit, we should know all these things. <laughs> Diplo was pretty awesome. He actually drove home with one of our other members from Vanshee all the way through the streets of Brisbane in a golf buggy. Everything that I was involved with was Jesse Rose's fault though. Nothing that was a hijink was me. It was his fault. We started off by hijacking a golf buggy and before we knew it we were driving through Brisbane town centre. And he doesn't even have a driver's license. So I jumped off after about 10 seconds when it became clear that we were about to drive into the lake. For Anyone who's looking for a golf buggy, you should probably ask Diplo. Nearly got arrested, managed to blag it that we'd actually got lost in the festival and managed to kind of end up in the city centre. Alright, come on, now hold up, let's make it official. Controversies on tour. We haven't really had anything controversial, have we? We've heard about other acts, but we shouldn't really say things. Um, uh, I saw Harma Superstar giving a girl with a strap on a blowjob last night <laughs> on the DJ decks when we were DJing. Where'd you get that fruit from? Um, Sean. Tell us who Harmar is. How is it around to attract women? There's a bit of action with Harmar Superstar. I don't know, I've had a few adventures with him actually. An old, I'm an old fan of his, but yeah, he's, he gets pretty drunk, let's just say that. Yes, I will have some fruit, sir. Gee, are you referring to Harmar Superstar? Yeah. <laughs> Well, he's got a talent for, it seems like, injuring himself, so it's like uh, pretty much non-stop entertainment. Football, you must go now. I love Australia. They're mad and wonderful people. Um, and they really, they really give you everything, so I like to give it back. That's why I give them this. I don't, I don't think they know the lyrics, <laughs> but... Didn't you say that you were actually able to hear somebody singing? Yeah, and it yeah. was like... Yeah, it sounded a bit like the Swedish chef, chef, yeah, chef from yeah. the Muppets, yeah. <laughs> Neon Neon, though, is, an, is my new favorite. I've probably aged about a year over the last week, but it's been a fantastic experience. This is like my favorite tour because that have been on a long time, because in Australia, all the, all the bands tour together. It's kind of like a summer camp. It's just been like, everybody in this tour is like really cool. When people are friendly and they talk to you and you can watch their show, they're good. I don't want to get negative, but I think you know what I'm getting at. The lineup is amazing. If you didn't see this tour, you're fucked up. <laughs> Thank you. thank you very much Fuzzy yeah, for thanks, having us. Thanks Fuzzy, it's been wonderful. Peace. Just take the H out of my name, you got peace. You heard it here first on Fuzzy TV. We think your logo should be like of a fuzzy bear, but I'm not sure what it is. You do? Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank, thank you, you Fuzzy.tv. Do you guys really have a TV station? I don't believe it.